know some biddies in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor. Subscribe, hit the bell notification, and come join the team. All right, you guys, so today's video. Have you ever been intimidated by a very, very beautiful bad I mean, we've all been there. We've all been there. We all looking at these Instagram models. You know what I'm saying? They got the There's a lot going on. Time out. There's a, there's a fire. Y'all hear the fire alarm? And then there's a dog barking in the hallway right when I start the video. Like, this is this is my luck. This is, I was waiting. I was like, you know what? Let me wait till uh, it's quiet. And now, all of this is going on. Okay. Beautiful bad bitches. Look. <laughs> we get it. They look good. They symmetrical. They got the chesticles. You feel me? They look great, but, I'm not talking about her butt, but y'all can't let that get to your head. Y'all can't let her outside appearance determine how you approach her, how you interact with her, okay? What you gotta do is treat hot girls like they not. If they hot, treat them like they not. Treat them like they ugly, okay? Treat them like ugly girls. Now, mister, you can't be calling girls ugly. Nobody's ugly, everybody beautiful in their own right. Bro, they some ugly people out there. Let's not lie. Let's not be politically correct over here. Yes, everybody beautiful in their own way, but guess what? You got your own type, right? Why do people have types? Because you might not find everybody attractive. Okay, people think I'm ugly. Shoot, I think I'm ugly, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't, I'm sexy. I'm sexy, I look good. It's that confidence, you have the confidence. Just tell yourself you look good. Even if you've been told you ugly your whole entire life. Nah, they was lying to you. You look amazing, bruh. Pause, but you know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself, because if you don't have that confidence, that inner confidence that you look amazing, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's, you know, your facial structure, forget all that. You dress nice, you take care of yourself, you have been working out, you know what I'm saying? You look good, walk with walk with some swag, you know what I mean? Feel yourself, like yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so when she sees you, she thinking the same thing, like, hey, he look good. If you don't think you look good, she not gonna think you look good. But regardless, we're not here talking about that. She, she don't look like that. What she looks like is not how she is. You feel me? Women's appearance is just that. It's just, a, it's just an appearance. It's just a cover up. They be sitting there doing their makeup for hours and hours and hours to make it appear like they're not insecure. When in reality, majority of these women are insecure, especially the ones that look the best because they have to, you know what I'm saying? They got to live up to that standard every single day. If they, if they have an off day, they walk out with their makeup off, you know what I'm saying? They be looking down, they be having a, you know what I'm saying? They be like, no, I can't be seen. I can't be seen. I'm a rabbit and today I look like a rabbit. Look, they, 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 they already know. They know that if they don't continue the facade, what else do they got? Now that's scary. Not saying that they're bad people, you know what I'm saying, or they have nothing else to offer. Because a lot of women who are pretty, who are considered hot, you know what I mean? They do have things to offer, but they're afraid that guys aren't going to like them for their personality or who they are. A lot of them are just goofy. They, 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 they nerdy, they playful. They, they try to act like they stuck up and this and that. I met a lot of beautiful stuck up girls that are just, Nerds, you know, they just like to have fun. They ain't taking things too serious. If they with their uh, girlfriends or with their family, like let's say they hanging out with their sister, you know what I mean? They just be goofing around, playing, joking, being normal. Now the whole reason I want you to look at girls like hot girls, like they're not hot, like they're ugly, like the ones that you don't want to mess with, is because it takes away the fear. It takes away you acting like something that you're not to impress someone who's basically doing the same thing, acting like something they're not. You feel me? So once you take away that, you chilling. You know, you going up to her, talking to her like she's just a homie, like she a friend, like you just having a good old time. You know, you just vibing, cracking jokes. And then, guess what that does to her? She's not used to that. She's used to some sort of flirting, some sort of, you know, incentive, some sort of ulterior motive. And she don't sense it from you? Oh, bro, you in there. She gonna be like, what? Her walls come down. And then, her walls, you know what I mean? Get bad over here, you know what I'm saying? But not for real. She lets her guard down. She becomes comfortable around you. And when she becomes comfortable around you, you can have fun, do whatever, you could be yourself. And if you could be yourself with a woman and get a woman to be herself, 
she's gonna be way more attracted to you. Way more attracted. Because if she's just sitting here pretending, you know, to be this, um, bad bitch from Batman forever, she's never gonna let you in like you want her to. And a lot of you guys' anxiety and stress comes from, ah, oh, man, I wonder what she's doing. Like, she don't communicate with me. She don't do this and do that. It's because she already knows you just want something from her. If you give her no incentive to think, like, he wants something more than just getting to know me. I'm not saying like be in the friend zone. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying put yourself in the friend zone, but I'm saying be playful with it. You can flirt with her, but don't make it like obvious. Don't make it awkward and cringy and try hardish, you know? Just make it like, you know what I mean? It's like, like, what up? Like, what's up? You good? Like how you would talk to your friend, but like add in like a, you know, sexual undertone. What's good with you? We about to go eat. What you gonna wear that? Are you sure? Cause look, you look way sexier in the other thing, but this make you look like Miss Piggy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why well, I wouldn't do that. That way she's like, oh, he thinks I'm sexy, but then he's like roasting me, but he's like talking to me like I'm the friend. I don't know. She's confused. She don't know what's going on. There's just so many angles. So she feels comfortable around you. She knows that you think she's attractive. She knows she can just be normal. And that's what women want is to just be normal. Let's be real, they wanna be normal. They wanna be normal, but they can't find that with somebody. And people that say that they're soulmates is because they feel comfortable around somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy, they vibe together. They on the same frequencies. You, you know, praising her and making her feel like this goddess and princess, just like everybody else, that's not the vibe she wants. She's gonna be annoyed. Even if you get with her, she's gonna be like closed off and you, you're never gonna feel like you're getting through to her. You're always gonna be wondering like, uh, does she even really, really like me? You know, there's always gonna be that disconnect and you don't want that, you don't want that. So you gotta be, um, you just gotta treat her regular because everybody's human. At the end of the day, everybody's human. We all want essentially the same things out of life, happiness, companionship, friendship, loyalty, love, laughter, joy, you know? We all just wanna be happy. And that's what it comes down to. And if you can make her feel like her authentic self when she's around you, that means she can be her happiest version. So if you could do that, that's something you supplying more than anybody. All these other dudes, they ain't doing that. Let's be real. Now the trick is, um, cause it's, it's very tricky to, to like find the balance and not make a and not make it seem like you're in the friend zone. Um, like I said, the trick is to, to be feeling her, but not feeling her. You gotta find the balance. You gotta work on it. You be putting her on your arm around her, you know what I'm saying? You be alpha male, you know what you want. You can show you're attractive, but then you falling back, you just playing around. Like it's it's not that serious to you. There's other girls, you know what I mean? You just living life, you just carefree. Then she start chasing you. Because you're like a drug now at this point. You giving her something no one else can. Powerful stuff, y'all. Powerful stuff. Hit the like button. Hit the like button if you rocking with me. Subscribe to the channel. Come on, what you doing? Download Winning with Women. Come on, let's change our lives. I got something else coming for you. I wish I could tell you, but I can't right now. And probably two to three weeks, I could tell you. Hopefully sooner. Hopefully sooner. But, um... Yeah, man, I got a lot of stuff coming. Got a lot of content. As always, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see so I can help you guys just keep growing, getting better. And yeah, man, this, this is the time to study. While we on lockdown, this is the time to study, to get your game tight. You can rehearse in the mirror. I don't care if it looks weird, you feel stupid. Practice. It's, it's, this is serious. It's not that serious, not that serious. But it's serious. It's, it's, it's serious. <laughs> oh man, I'm feeling good. Uh, don't let this situation in life and what everyone's dealing with bring you down. Just stay positive. Everything's gonna be all right, man. I believe in you. I don't know why I said I believe in you. I, I mean, I do believe in you, but I, it didn't go with what I was talking about. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point. I love y'all. Until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some biddies in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. I know some hoes.